Hi, uh, this is Nathan, and I'm going to show you guys uh, part three of the uh, how to make a real FPS tutorial. And uh, remember, this isn't the cheesy FPS. I'm decided to make this tutorial because uh, I'm tired of the cheesy. Hey, let's make a empty and put a five minute little tutorial. All right, so I'm just gonna say, show you guys my site. Uh, I've got it recently up and running. I uh, there's gonna be some downloads up there soon. I'm creating a new game project as well. I'm gonna call it Anomaly. It's gonna be a horror game, and uh, you can view uh, info on that on the site as well. And uh, I'm putting together a team for it. So uh, for all you interested, you can help out. So uh, let's get started. We uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to. We're gonna add a um, a crosshair. So we're gonna go into we're gonna place our uh, cursor right in front of our camera. We're gonna move it in there a little bit, just about right in there. There we go. We're gonna press space, add mesh plane. We're going to size it down a little bit, like so. And uh, now we need to uh, parent it to our camera. So uh, we're going to select that, hold down shift, alright, hold on, alright, we're going to select the, the crosshair box, hold shift, press control P, and do make parent, mm -hmm. whoops, <laughs> Okay, so uh, now we need to uh, texture it so it actually has the um, the uh, crosshair on there. Now I've already gone ahead and made a uh, crosshair image. It's a transparent PNG, and uh, I made it in Photoshop. So uh, I'm just gonna go to the UV mapper. I'm gonna go to open. I'm gonna find my file. Oh, whoops! I selected the wrong one. I'm going to select my file. I called it crosshair.png. Now it's going to look really weird in your um, UV mapper, but it's going to look fine when it's actually on your uh, plane. So there we go. Now uh, I'm going to start the game engine up here in a sec. And uh, you're going to see what will happen since uh, we haven't made the crosshair a ghost yet. So, uh, watch what happens. Um, oops. <laughs> I just made the, uh, crosshair camera. My bad. You're not gonna wanna do that, but if you do do that, just press Control Zero while. Uh, while selecting the the camera, so now we can see that's that's what happens. I just started up the game engine and I just flew backward way off the screen or off the map. So uh, now I'm gonna select the crosshair and go to actor ghost, and uh, this is going to this is just going to uh, create it to where it's it's pretty much not there. You just see it. So uh, now it's it it works. I'm not flying back, and the physics are all there. So uh, now I'm gonna import my gun. I this is not my gun or my model, but I uh, didn't want to take the time to model my own. So uh, I got this off of uh, Turbo Squid, and uh, this is one of the free models. But yeah. So I'm, I came in two parts. I'm just going to parent these two. But I am going to uh, make a copy of the clip just because uh, when we reload, we might want to make this pop out. But maybe not. I don't know. You'll have to see in the next tutorial. So it's all good. We've got all our all the stuff set up. And now we can move it to uh, layer 1 which is where our player is 
so you move it by pressing M. Oh, I'm gonna name it Gun, by the way. And now I'm gonna select the gun and press M. Whoops. See the texturing, there we go. Now I'm, now I'm gonna press M and move it to layer one. <laughs> So uh, I've I already kind of set it up. Just put it inside. Just set it up the basic way you want it to look. And uh, there we go. It does. It can be sticking out. It can be smaller. It can be larger. It really doesn't matter. It's gonna be a ghost anyway. So uh, now we are going to click on the gun and uh, go to actor ghost. I'm gonna parent the gun or the. I'm gonna make the camera a parent of the gun. So now we can uh, start adding empties, which are going to control the the rays. And these are just the the very. These are pretty much the important part of our bullet hole script that we are going to make in either this tutorial or the next tutorial. So we want to uh, add put our cur or add a um, empty right in front of the gun, not in the gun. Actually, it really doesn't matter, but we and we want uh, one of the axes either pointing toward the gun or like inside the gun or away from the gun really doesn't matter so now we're gonna add another empty and this one is going to control the uh, gun animations you don't want to animate the gun itself because it just causes a lot of interference and it's it's hard to work with so we've got that I'm going to uh, set the camera as parent of that empty we just added and then we're gonna set make the empty parent of the uh, gun so everything's everything's tied together right now We're going to call this, um, say, mm, anim for animation. And there we go. So uh, now we can start animating the uh, first part of the, like, it's, it's going to be animating the, um, the, Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> Can't think right now. The, um... This is, this is gonna be the... Ah, uh, shoot. What? It's gonna be basically the knockback of the gun, so when you shoot it, it's gonna, it's gonna go back and forth like a machine gun should just like that so uh... that's pretty much all for this tutorial and uh...